Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from HL Talk That Thought. Our weekly uh, reminder of what happens when uh, you get married and divorced in the West. How these modern women have destroyed families, children's lives, and then uh, get upset after the husband does well. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And let's get to that chow. It's chow time. Another day. Another reminder that it does not ever get better. First thing off the bat, look at that nose ring. She is the meme that we always talk about. But now she's old. You know, we thought it was going to take five to ten years before we see old women like this with nose rings and piercings everywhere start making these videos it's coming already guys it's coming already these women are already at the age where uh they're regretting life like ever they break you in a way that no other person in the world could but you still love them it's been less than 24 hours and i'm a mess this is hard welcome back family Today, we will review this modern woman who falls into a deep depression after deciding to leave her 15-year-old marriage. Let's start by understanding the real reason her marriage ended. Do you admit that you're crazy? If I'm completely honest, yes. I've been called crazy several times. It's, <laughs> it's crazy that people are so willing, not people, mostly women, are so willingly, openly to admit that they're crazy, that they're outrageous, that like they are unhinged in a sense, right? Like, why is it okay to be speaking about this publicly? And to, is it like an own to own this? Like, oh yeah, I'm crazy. You know, back in the day when people said shit like this, you get thrown into an asylum in relationships i'm also telling you that the reason why i was called crazy was in a direct reaction from this oh shit just realized two new piercings here and she got gauges in her ears this is like the poster child of uh modern women getting old specific action that occurred there were times i overreacted for sure emotionally not like key or car but as a full-grown woman i've established that many of those circumstances was due because i stood up for myself i expressed my feelings often matching the energy that was given to me first men like to throw that word around specifically when they're with someone who wants them but doesn't need them so if my boundaries or we say it because a lot of women are crazy in some way, shape, or form. And assertiveness makes me crazy? Then yeah, I'm f crazy. This woman definitely doesn't take any accountability for her actions. She admitted being crazy, but then justify it by playing the victim card. Here's some more proof on why her marriage didn't work. Please remember that your kids are learning and watching and discovering how- You know, I love- Okay, shoutouts again to HL Talk That Thought, you know, like- He's doing wonderful. He's getting like 100k views on almost all his videos. Fucking killing it. How he is doing these series. He's literally going into these women and pulling out all of like their own documentation of how shitty their lives are and how shitty they are and how shitty they've been. All documented on their own TikTok. How crazy is this? Like how he's able to get content like this. These women are telling on themselves. It's like, thank God for TikTok, but goddamn fuck TikTok at the same time. <laughs> you know, it's like really ruined things, but it's really shown men how women really are. How they will ultimately allow themselves to be treated in the future by a partner. It doesn't even have to be excessively bad. It's just that they're going to learn what is acceptable in their brains and they're going to think that miserable being miserable and not getting along is a normal way to be in a relationship i do agree i with say that. this with hindsight 
I tried the whole, let's fix it. We both tried it. It did not work. So it ended up going through that trauma again where we split up in the end anyway. So our kids had to do it not once. Oh, so what? So when things happen, you shouldn't try to fix it. You just let it go because it's going to end anyways. Is that what you're trying to say? But twice. That was a dick move. They know we're miserable. And really, in the end, they don't care. They just want two loving parents. Married or divorced. That's my thoughts. No, she did not try her best to make the marriage work. And I will prove it to you later on by showing you how lazy she really is. But before that, let me show you her standards for the men she is attracted to, including her ex-husband. As I scroll through TikTok, I think I've finally established why it is that I am and will remain single. I think I have a type. A type that for whatever reason, it is just built in me that it is the only kind of man I find attractive, period. I was married to this type of man for a very long time. And we all know how that ended. <laughs> the type is as follows. Always tall. Like, always taller than I am. Bearded. Exceptionally athletic. An all-in-all -all rugged man. Like a Grizzly Adams man. The reason why this sucks is because I hate all of it. I will. I hate doing those things. I hate. I hate it. Hiking? No, thank you. Mountain climbing? No. Hunting? That no. I think that's the other part of things. Women want this chiseled man, and you don't think this chiseled man is gonna have some rugged, you know, hobbies. Like working out of the gym like a motherfucker, going on hikes, doing, sh you know, athletic things, especially when you want an athletic built man. It's like women come to me and they look at me and they're like, oh, you go to the gym, right? I'm like, yeah, but I also play tennis. I also hike and I also do a couple of these other things. And they're like, oh, that's just too much activity. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> no, but I'll never stop you from doing it and I'll support it. I'll stay home and crochet. This is just the tip of the iceberg on how much this woman is lazy. She wants a top-tier man like they all do, but doesn't want to do any work on getting or keeping a man like that. Mm -hmm. We can all imagine what her husband went through during those 15 years of marriage. Now, before we watch her crying and regretting why she left her husband thinking that she could do better by herself, let me show you how much of an attention seeker she really is. She even complains about the lack of attention from her own damn kids. One day, the mummies I love you stop. They crawl into bed with you just to cuddle. That stops. They stop running up to you after work because they're happy to see you. Did you not go through this with your own mom and dad? I'm sure you did. And this is sad that you don't have the self-reflection to see what happened with you and what's happening to your daughter. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy. That stops. They, they break you in a way that no other person in the world could. But you still love them. It's like the most toxic relationship on the face of the earth. Wow. Imagine being her daughter. That my relationship with my mother is the most toxic thing on this planet. That's how she views me and my relationship with her. Do these women not realize the kind of trauma, the kind of damage these videos do to their kids when they're speaking about their kids in such ways like you could you could say yeah my kid was a pain in the ass it was hard work but to say this is the most toxic thing in the world was my kid's relationship with me is it's pretty sad and you can never leave it that's being a mom she is completely wrong on her view on how her children should be treating her. And I will talk about it at the end of the video. Now, remember, she left her marriage thinking that she could do better on her own. Kids, kids are going to love you in waves. I loved my parents when I was growing up. I hated them in my teenage years. 
kind of disliked them in my 20s, loved them in my late 20s, loved them now in my late 30s. So, like, shit happens, you know, like, they've never given up. And I don't think parents should be giving up or even speaking like this about their child. Sometimes people live their own lives. They have their own personalities. Sometimes they're resentful of the things that happened, the things that you did to them when they were younger. Sometimes when they get older, they realize those weren't that bad or you're, you're looking out for their best interests. And sometimes they look back and realize you were a piece of shit mom. Let's watch how she is doing. A lot of people <clears throat> will think that I put myself in this position or that... You divorced, did you not? That is my own fault, that I my life is the way it is. Let me assure you that I've spent the last 20 years of my life working really hard to get to a place that I could be independent and support my kids, okay? I'll start with that. I put myself through school three separate times, okay? I put myself in enormous student debt to be able to provide. And what is this? Like, like, I don't get this. Like, does that prove something? Like, you know, like, what does that do? Just because you saying you're doing these things, so you were married for 15 years and you said you were working for 20 years this whole time to try to raise your, your, your daughter properly and all this stuff. Was your husband not there? Did he not help support you while you were going to school? Because I'm assuming yes. You're making it seem like you were like single this whole time, struggling to raise your child with um, without a man. But the man was there. You chose to divorce him. And have a good career. I was diagnosed with a life-changing illness that I refuse to let it affect my life so that I don't have to be on age for the rest of my life and I can make money myself. I made $1,500 this month at work. I can't pay my rent. I can't buy groceries. I've been using the food bank like a fucking loser. So you, you took yourself to school three times, went into massive debt, and you still only have a job that pays you 1500 a month. Someone failed somewhere. Sir, I, do, I can't do anything. How is this okay? It's not. Her situation got so bad that she had to move back in her parents' basement, and that affected her children in the worst way. I will show a conversation between her and her teenage daughter. I want you to focus on her daughter's body language and guess what she has been doing. So my daughter just came in my room. I'll have her tell you what she just asked me for. What do you need? Mom, I need everything you have for a satanic ritual. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what do you want? Everything you have for a satanic ritual. But I don't think I have anything. I need anything. Okay, but what is the satanic ritual for? To do what? This will be news to me. I don't know. You don't know why you're summoning the Dark Lord? Yeah, probably to get rid of you. Oh god, you're fucking weird. You guessed it right. Her daughter is doing drugs just like her mother. Instead of focusing on being a parent and discipline her child, she is focusing on being the cool mom. Yep. Daughter, quick question. Would you consider me a cool mom? Yeah. I'm sorry, what was that? I said, yeah. Oh, I guess I am. This, this is the sad part about parenting nowadays. Everybody wants to be their kids' friends. Everybody wants to be their, their cool mom, the, you know, the go-to parent. Stop it. Stop it. Parents need to be parents. You need to lay down the fucking law. You need to lay down some fucking discipline and teach them. And lead them to the right path. The best of your ability. It might not be great sometimes. But you do your goddamn best. Stop being their friend. My parents were never my friend. Like, ever. They were discipline, discipline, disciplinary figures in my life. That's all parents should be. Yeah, you should love your kids. And you should get to know them and stuff. But they're not your friends. Because you can't tell friends certain things and you don't have authority over certain friends. It just doesn't work that fucking way. This woman destroyed her daughter's life so much to the point that the state had to intervene and move the daughter to go live with her father for rehabilitation. Wow. 
just a quick rundown of what's going on right now is my daughter went to go live with her dad for an undisclosed amount of time because financially I'm not doing good and um, she's fallen into some hard times on her in her within herself and she needs to go I wonder and why and, get and whose fault it is and learn to thrive in a place where she knows no one um, aside from her father you know these 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 HL talk that thought videos make me sad but it doesn't make me feel sorry for these women I feel sad for the kids I feel sad for the future generation of women that are getting raised like this they're more they're gonna be more fucked up than what we're seeing now imagine in the next 20 30 years the videos that are gonna be coming out how bad they are how much shit talking these next generation of women are going to be sh talking shit about their mothers and how their mothers live their lives and how their mothers fucked their shit up. I'm almost positive that's going to be the new wave. Hey, HL, talk that thought. You get ready for that series of uh, women trashing their mothers. I I'll, I'll be uh, looking forward to that one. So, I have been away from my daughter for approximately six months of her entire 16 years on Earth. And that is not a joke. I just pulled into work and on Friday they asked me if I needed some time today to kind of just settle because to ask if I'd be okay for work. And I was like, dude, of course, I mask better than any person I've ever met. And sure. masking. <laughs> I mask better than anybody. Else. You're crying on TikTok. How much are you masking your emotions here? Like a thing I do better than anyone should be able to do. There was no 5 a.m. cuddle or talk. It's been less than 24 hours and I'm a fucking mess. This is hard. You see what is going on here. Her daughter has been taken away for rehabilitation because of a situation she created. Yep. And all she is thinking about is how hard it is for her to leave without her daughter. You guys know how much I am protective of kids. And that is why I didn't include explicit footage about her teenage daughter. I have realized how much mothers are contributing in the trauma most children are going through these days. And that is why I am going to keep exposing them on... Shout out to you, HL, for not uh, messing up this young woman's life even more. Repeat. As for this woman, we will close off with a video showing how miserable her life looked like now. Another day. Another reminder that it does not ever get better. Like, ever. All these girls out there with hot husbands. Meanwhile, I'm just over here having hot flashes. Jealous. Mental health awareness. Whoa, what is going on with her face? I was trying really hard to think of something prolific to do. Um, to bring awareness to this topic. And then I realized I'll just be real. How I start every single day of my life. And this is why we say this is the saddest and loneliest demographic and the most oppressed demographic because of this. We have actual proof. Not just from the, you know, the statistics from who's taking pills it's also fucking tiktoks like this how many of them are there complaining about their divorce complaining about what's going on and how happy and strong and independent these women are It's crazy to be flaunting your disorders, your 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 bad things like this on social media. Like growing up, I would have like how my family was raised. You don't flaunt these things. You hide these things and you put these things in a fucking bottle and you fix them. And if it comes out, you look bad to the family. You look bad to everyone. It's just. Something you have to deal with internally and fix yourself, not externally the way these women are doing it. What's wrong with her face? Did she get abused? I'm confused. 
you're never going to be good enough for anybody. That's why you're alone. You should be ashamed of yourself. You Sad. Be Don't feel sorry for her, but sad. Distraction, distraction, da 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 da. Color, 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 Dog. Color, color, color. How much attention she no, wants. No, Mom, I don't know why. I hate it here. Why can't I be normal? Because you ruined it. I don't want to feel like this anymore. Yeah. The kids are coming. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll call you back later. Okay, love you. Bye. I absolutely have zero sympathy for this nope. woman. She got what she deserves. That's it for today's video. But before we go, just remember to keep your head up, focus on your goals, and everything else will follow. I would really appreciate a like, sub, comment, and share so that we can keep pushing this content to more men out there. Shoutouts to HL. Give him some support. Give him some love. That was some sad chow. Do I feel sorry for her? Fuck no! But I do feel sorry for the child. A 16 year old trying to do satanic rituals. Mom trying to be the cool mom. Trying to be the cool mom so badly that child services took your child away. How cool are you when they take your child away? Instead of being a good parent, you chose to be a cool parent. Life! Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.